there's a story I want to do last year that I've been dying to talk about on the show. I never got to do it last year, and it is now an official misfile. Ooh. I'm just going to pull up the story. I'm just going to read the story right off right off the, uh, the phone here because it's not that long, but it's very important. Okay. So this is about a Colorado hunter who claims he was sexually assaulted by a Sasquatch. Here we go. Daryl Whitaker from Glenwood Springs in Colorado claims a Sasquatch attacked him and attempted to rape him while he was walking in the woods. God, even Sasquatch is being me too Yeah, I know. It's sad. No one's safe. The 57-year-old man was walking to his hunting cabin on Sunday to see if it had suffered any damage during the winter. All of a sudden, he said a large gorilla-like creature dropped from a tree in front of him and punched him in the face. <laughs> it was at least eight foot tall and its punches hurt like hell. I was knocked right out at first blow. He was trying to recover from the attack. The large humanoid creature began to tear his clothes off while letting out some terrifying howls. He said, when I regained consciousness, he had already torn my pants and was tearing through my underwear. I stabbed him in the shoulder with my hunting knife and that made him run away. Mr. Whitaker immediately reported the attack to both the Glenwood Springs Police Department, the GSPD, and the Colorado Parks and Wildlife Agency, and a joint investigation has been launched. Now, this is a very serious problem in the Sasquatch hunting community. We all know, we all go out into the woods. Some of us may have dressed up that day, may have put on, you know, like a, an alluring shade of lipstick, or camouflage lipstick, or whatever it is. Or you've, women's cologne. Yeah, or women's cologne. Or Don't recommend doing that. You've got your hunting high heels on. It doesn't matter. You're going to be attacked savagely by Sasquatch. We all know it's going to happen in one fashion or another. But here at the JTO, uh, we have officially come up with a anti-sexual assault Sasquatch kit. If you're out there, you're trying to create your own documentary where you're trying to catch Sasquatch, you need to be safe. You need an anti-Sasquatch rape kit. Only sold here on the JTO podcast. Tested by the agents of Miss. So first tool in the kit, pretty simple. Everybody knows that Sasquatches derive their power from their fur. Yeah. The more fur they have, the more powerful they are. We have a JTO Sasquatch hair trimmer. Hear that? Now, that's you, the sound of safety. You think, why should I buy a JTO Sasquatch trimmer? Wouldn't a normal trimmer work? No. No. Sasquatch hair is very thick and very powerful, and you actually need a special blades to cut their hair. Yeah, that's right. A special blades to cut their hair. Special blade. Good, hair. Ar good articulation. All you need There's is more than one blade, bitch. All you need is one of these bad boys and cut through the bullshit. Now, sometimes if a Sasquatch is going to be jumping out of a tree and you can't quite reach them, you might need a little extension with our hard to reach Sasquatch trimmer. Mm -hmm. Hear that? That's also the sound of safety, but from further away, it's even yep. safer. You get those hard to reach Sasquatches. Now, it might not sound like it's very effective to have a naked Sasquatch who's clearly angry now and still horny. But if that's the case, and those don't do the trick, our last item in the kit is a marriage ring. You just open up the box and propose to the Sasquatch. Everyone knows they're afraid of commitment. Sasquatch gone. Yep, not a single Sasquatch we've ever uh, heard about or come across has ever been married. That's right. There was one story, but she never uh, showed a marriage certificate. So we're kind of, uh, we're kind of, uh, we don't believe that a Sasquatch settled down with that lady. Now, some of you might find this hard to believe, and I understand your skepticism, but here in our new formed agency, the Agents of Miss, we would never lie to you. We are here to deliver the truth, and I have proved it because I caught a Sasquatch. I set up a, a Sasquatch trap filled with bananas injected with NyQuil. Now, when you made this trap, was this the first trap or was this one in a long line of, of uh, traps that you tried out? Nope, first trap, very easy. No oh, problem really? whatsoever. You didn't, you didn't have another trap that... Nope, it ate the bananas, went right to sleep, you wakes, you wakes up with a, a, a raging hard on. You didn't like. have another trap that, that killed three JTO interns? Nope. Where you fed a Sasquatch methamphetamines? That was nobody's fault. You fed a Sasquatch methamphetamines and it ripped through our studios murdering, sorry, killing three of our JTO interns. So I'm just gonna hand you the ring box. You go ahead and take that because I brought this horny Sasquatch in from the wilderness of Georgia. What? You just proposed well, to it. It'll I don't go like away. This plan. This is, doesn't seem. It's gonna really work. Well thought out. Do we have trinks? All right. So I've got my Sasquatch chain. I'm gonna bring them in. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. So. Uh, yeah, this is my Sasquatch I got. He's very horny. He's very ready to go. I didn't make him wear the chains, actually. It's his idea. It's kind of kinky. Wait, so he, he brought the chains himself? Yeah. I don't I don't consent to this. I don't want this experiment. I don't think it's... See? I don't, I don't think he's into it either. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, looks like his interests lie a little bit more in the ginger okay. variety. All right, that's that's cool. Hey, I'm not really into this. I uh, I don't I don't I don't consent to this. Uh, okay. <laughs> he just got you a beer. Gave me a beer. Well, that's, oh, that's, that's cool. cool. I don't really want to uh, drink right now. What you got there? It's a cell phone. Okay, you're putting on mood music. Uh, oh, he's getting it nice and romantic okay, in here. Hey, that's cool. Um, wow, he's, he's really going all out here for you. Yeah. Oh, you, I am very <laughs> uncomfortable. Oh. You, me, you, 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 you want to try? Yeah, just you want to try the... Let's uh, see if that works. I don't like this at all. all right. I feel gross. As you, uh, as you know, Sasquatches are very against uh, commitment. They're huge commitment phobes. Okay, so uh, I'm going to just give this a try. Uh, hey, Sasquatch, will, will you marry me? Oh my god, he just said yes. Andrew is now engaged. Oh, I didn't like that at all. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that backfired for you, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, we're going to keep testing out the uh, Sasquatch uh, anti-rape kit, but the Sasquatch uh, capturing kit does work, and we do sell that on our website. So you guys can go check that out at JTO.com. Before we get off the topic of Sasquatch, uh, I have some video evidence. You know, not that I need it, I just... Yeah, we, we have we, we have one in studio that's trying to... But check this out. This is evidence on the news. And yes, again, let me tell you, if it's on the news, it's got to be real. They're not legally allowed to lie about anything, as I've proven time and time again. I'm going to show you this video, Brian, of uh, a Swamp Squatch. A Swamp Squatch, all right. Or uh, better known as the Skunk Ape in some circles, if you're rude. A local fisherman, his name is 66-year-old John Rodriguez. He's from 66, Tampa. still He's sharp with eagle's eyes. Lake Park. That's on the Hillsborough River near USF. See that well, picture, Brian? You're probably thinking, that, is I can't. this real there it is. or just a hoax? However, a weird news writer That's for it. Huffington Post... Check it out. He's just chilling in a mud bath. He got hanging out. Too. He told me over is that the Sasquatch that, that looks like just like a gorilla? FBI it's a skunk ape. Look at the metadata. I don't know, it just looks like a gorilla. Motherfucker, just do gorillas hang out in the swamp? No. They hang sure? out in zoos where they belong. It's where they're born. <laughs> they're they're not, hanging out in the fucking they're swamp. Not, they're not all in the zoo. They, most of them are in the wild. Yeah, there's just a wild gorilla in Tampa Bay, Florida. Hanging out in a swamp. You're right. You're right. I don't know. It's Tampa Bay, Florida. Maybe some weirdo has a fucking gorilla and it let loose the gorilla and the gorilla went out into the swamp. I mean, that is a really good point. Yeah, it's it's Florida. That is a good point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that gorilla was later uh, arrested after setting its house on fire while cooking naked on a Ford George Foreman grill. <laughs> I bet I bet if we Googled uh, Florida man gorilla, we'd probably <laughs> find that. <laughs> I was just huffing paint fumes with my pet gorilla. <laughs> Next thing I knew, it ripped a child in half down at Disneyland. What the I, fuck happened? I, I bet I bet I bet there's a show with those with this with those same reporters talking about <laughs> about the eighth they found. Last week we thought we might have seen a Sasquatch in a photo, but uh, in the same area, a small child was ripped apart by a gorilla. <laughs> 